Welcome to Tumamina Teaching. Today we'll be doing lesson two of Pythagoras, which is the converse theorem of Pythagoras. Please make sure you have a pen and a book at hand and do the questions with me as I go along. In the first lesson, we dealt with the Pythagorean theorem. That is where they told us that this is a right angle triangle and we needed to determine one unknown side. For example, we had a triangle with two known sides and one of these sides were unknown. They also showed us that the angle is a right angle. In this lesson, we'll be dealing with the converse theorem of Pythagoras. That is where they give you all three sides of the triangle and they ask you to prove that this is a right angle triangle. That means they ask you to prove that this triangle has a 90 degree angle. For instance, if I have this triangle, I have one side known, two sides known, three sides known. But I have no idea if that angle is 90 degrees and that is what I want to prove. To prove that a triangle is a right angle triangle, we use the Pythagorean theorem. We need to prove the left hand side is equal to the right hand side of the theorem. A squared plus B squared is the left hand side and the C squared, which is my hypotenuse, is the right hand side. It's important to note that we need to calculate the left hand side and the right hand side separately. If we calculate them separately and we see that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side, that means that this is a right angled triangle. Always remember that your 90 degree angle is opposite your hypotenuse. So they tend to ask you which angle would you say is the 90 degree angle. Then you find your hypotenuse and you know that it will be the angle on the opposite side of your hypotenuse. And that angle will be 90 degrees. Now let's do this example together. The question asks us to prove that triangle DEF is a right angle triangle. Now it's very important to remember that the moment they ask us to prove that it is a right angle triangle, I need to prove that the left hand side of Pythagoras theorem is equal to the right hand side of Pythagoras theorem and I need to do this separately. So if I look at my triangle, I can see that 8 and 6 and 10 are the length of my sides. 10 is the longest side. I know that my longest side is always my hypotenuse. Therefore, I know that the left-hand side of Pythagoras' theorem will be df squared plus fe squared. Since I know that de squared will be my right-hand side because this will be my hypotenuse. So I can write the left-hand side is equal to df squared plus fe squared. And my right hand side will be my hypotenuse squared, which will be DE squared. Now I just substitute my values. DF squared is 8 squared plus FE squared is 6 squared. 64 plus 36 will give me a total of 100. Now back to my right hand side. DE squared will be 10 squared, which also gives me 100. Now I note that my left hand side is exactly equal to my right hand side. So I can write thus. My left hand side is equal to my right hand side. Therefore, DF squared plus FE squared is equal to DE squared. Therefore, triangle DEF is a right angle triangle. Always remember that your 90 degree angle is opposite your hypotenuse. Since I know that DE is my hypotenuse, I know that the angle opposite my hypotenuse will be my 90 degree angle, which means that angle F would be 90 degrees. Therefore, angle F is equal to 90 degrees. Now let's do our second example. The question asks if this is a right angle triangle. Once again, I need to prove that the left hand side of my Pythagorean theorem is equal to my right hand side of the Pythagorean theorem. And I need to do this separately. Now, first of all, I'm looking at my sketch and I see that this is my longest side. 
So this will definitely be my hypotenuse. Therefore, I know that my left hand side would be AB squared plus BC squared. So I can write left hand side is equal to AB squared plus BC squared. My right hand side is always my hypotenuse squared, which would in this turn be my longest side, which is AC squared. So I can write right hand side is equal to AC squared. Now it's the easy part where I only substitute my values. So AB squared is 10 squared plus BC squared is 7 squared. That gives a total of 100 plus 49, which is 149. AC squared is 12 squared, which gives me a total of 144. Now, in lesson 3, you are going to learn how to classify triangles, and then you will see which type of triangle this really is. For now, you can only know that the left-hand side is not equal to the right-hand side. So I can write thus. The left hand side is not equal to the right hand side. Therefore, AB squared plus BC squared is not equal to AC squared. And therefore, triangle ABC is not a right angled triangle. Now, in this example, they don't give me a sketch. They only give me a word sum. In triangle ABC, side B, since this is a small letter, I know that this is a side. Side B is equal to 17, side A is equal to 8, and side C is equal to 15. They ask us to determine if this is a right angled triangle. Now, first of all, they say in triangle ABC, so I need to go and draw a triangle any triangle since I don't know how the sides or the angles look yet. So I know that if I compare my sides with each other, 17, 8 and 15, I can see that 17 will be my longest side. So this will most likely be my hypotenuse. So I can write B is equal to 17 since I know that this will be my hypotenuse. Now, I also know that if this is side B, angle B will be on the opposite side of side B. So, I write a capital letter B there. Now, since this is triangle ABC and I already know where angle B is, I can choose where I write angle A and angle C. So, I can either write angle A there and angle C there, or I can swap them around. It is your choice. If I choose to say that this is angle A, then I need to write side A on the opposite side, and they say A is equal to 8. And then if this is angle C, then I know that side C would be on the opposite side, and it is 15 units. Now that I have my sketch, I can start with my sums. So I know that my hypotenuse will be side B, which is AC squared, and that is always my right-hand side. So I can write the left hand side is equal to AB squared plus BC squared. So I write AB squared plus BC squared. My right hand side is always my hypotenuse squared, which is my longest side. So that will be AC squared. So I can write AC squared. Now it's once again the easy part where I only substitute my values. So I know AB is 15, so it's 15 squared plus BC is 8 squared. That gives me a total of 225 plus 64, and I end up with 289. Now for my right hand side, AC is 17 squared which gives me a total of 289. And now it is clear that my left hand side is equal to my right hand side. And I can write thus, left hand side is equal to right hand side. Therefore, AB squared plus BC squared is equal to AC squared. And therefore, I know that triangle ABC is a right angled triangle. Now they also ask me if it is a right angled triangle 
indicate which angle is the 90 degree angle. I know that my 90 degree angle will always be opposite my hypotenuse. Since AC is my hypotenuse, I know the angle on the opposite side of my hypotenuse is angle B. And therefore I can write angle B would be 90 degrees. Well done! Now that you know more about the converse theorem of Pythagoras, try the following exercises yourself and when you get stuck refer back to the video. This marks the end of part 2 of the Pythagorean Theorem. I'll see you in part 3 where we will be classifying triangles. Okay.